Hi, and welcome to your air-themed yin practice. I am Jenna. If you're new with me, welcome. I'm very happy that you're practicing with me today. So in this practice, we'll do a lot of heart openers, some work on the side body and the shoulders so that we can eventually take fuller, more free breaths. And maybe as your intention for the practice, you could set as something that you'd love to let go of as the air and the breath also signifies letting go, purifying and cleansing. You'll need some props. So I have a couple of blocks. You can have something that's roughly a similar size. I also have a blanket. So grab those now so that you have them handy. Also, if you have a yoga bolster, a long yoga bolster or a long couch pillow, that will be great. We'll get started in supported fish. What that might mean for you is that you put one block and you'll rest your upper back on top of the block. If you want a little bit more support, maybe something underneath the head as well. And since we're just easing into the practice, have your props low so you feel supported and you give your body the time and space to open up. If you're using blocks instead of a yoga bolster, I always like to put a blanket on top of the blocks so that it's nice and cushiony. So go ahead and lay down on your props. If all that you have is just one book, that will be great. You can place it underneath your shoulder blades just to open up into the heart space to begin with. So get settled in. It may take a little bit of adjusting to get yourself comfortably on top of your props. So you really want to have the upper back and the shoulder blade supported. Take a moment to roll the shoulders back. Open the palms up, arms a little bit further away from the body. Make sure your neck feels nice and comfortable. Options for the legs, broken bridge, feet as wide as the mat, let the knees come, come together or the opposite, sleeping butterfly, soles of the feet together knees fall apart or just super relaxed shavasana legs when you found your shape go ahead and close the eyes come into stillness notice how you feel Notice your state and whatever may be lingering in your body, in your mind from the day. Whatever happened earlier, it doesn't matter right now. Or whatever will happen later, doesn't matter either. This is your time. Let's take two clearing breaths to begin. Through your nose, take a big breath in. Pause at the top. Open your mouth and let it go. Can you sink a little bit deeper onto your props, onto the floor? Once more, big breath in. Pause at the top. And exhale, let it go. Seal the lips and start to deepen the breath. So as the breath signifies letting go and fully surrendering, just watching the flow of the breath, maybe you can set your intention for the practice, something that you'd like to let go of. Just choose whatever comes up for you and breathe with that, breathe into that.
Soften your forehead. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Let the eyebrows drop down. Soften your jaw. Take three more breaths here. Really solidifying the connection to the breath. Now interlace the hands behind the head. Kind of like you want to do a sit up, but we're not going to do that. This is a soft practice. So bend your knees, plant the feet onto the floor. Use your hands to draw the chin to the chest. As so much so that the chin really comes into the chest. You get a stretch at the back of the neck. In supported fish, we're opening up the throat. Soften your jaw. Separate the back teeth a little bit. Just gently pulling, encouraging the opening at the back of the neck. Take one more breath in. Exhale fully. Roll onto the left side of your body. Take a moment in fetal position. And then make your way up to seated. Come into easy seat and you can use some props underneath your bum to make the seat comfortable, maybe a blanket, maybe a tiny little pillow. And have either one of the feet crossed in front, doesn't really matter, just make it comfortable for yourself. and. You, halfway through the exercises will switch. So just notice which foot is in front. Place your right hand next to you. Inhale the left hand up. Exhale, soften the left elbow and start to bend over to the right, the right side. Shift your gaze down. So choose how deep you want to go. You can be on the right hand or you can come onto the forearm, but really feel the left sitting bone rooted onto the floor. Your right forearm can also be on a block. And why I recommend that you shift your gaze down is so that you free the neck. You can more easily relax the shoulders away from the ears and you also get a beautiful stretch at the back of the neck. If you really allow the shoulders to sink away from the ears, this shouldn't cause any strain for the neck. See if you can just gently guide the left armpit up towards the ceiling. Take three more breaths here. Can you let that left hip sink down to the floor a little bit deeper? Next inhale, slowly rise. Come back up to center. Place your right hand on your left knee. Take the left fingertips behind you. Find a twist. Take a moment to roll the shoulders back. Gently hug the shoulder blades in towards one another. And you're just lightly on that left hand. Try not to lean back too much. Inhale, feel yourself sit up a little bit taller. Exhale, you can deepen the twist, not forcing anything, just allowing the twist to happen with the breath. If it feels okay for your neck, you can shift the gaze over the left shoulder. Third 
Three more breaths. Even though we're twisting, you can let your belly be free so that you can take complete breaths. Keep your right hand on your left knee. Come to center with the upper body. Bring your left hand onto your right knee. So you cross the body with the hands. And now this will probably feel a little bit awkward. Just make it intuitive for yourself, but start to find a little bit of movement. Maybe rocking from side to side, let the head hang heavy. You should feel an opening at the back of the chest in between the shoulder blades. Keep breathing. You can also find a gentle cat cow. Really just make it your own. Try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. Soften the jaw. Let's take one more breath. Slowly unravel, come to center. You can release the hands and now switch the legs. So the other foot in front. Place the left hand onto the floor next to you. Inhale your right hand up. Exhale, soften the elbow and start to fold over to the left side. You can be on the left hand, left forearm, or maybe the left forearm is on a block. Feel your right hip rooting onto the floor. Take a big breath into the right lung. Exhale, can you soften the neck area, shoulders away from the ears. Shift your gaze towards the floor, tuck the chin in slightly. And just gently guiding that right armpit up. It's completely normal if you start feeling a little bit of tingling in your fingertips. But if the whole arm or hand starts to go numb, then you might want to ease the hand out a little bit, bring it at the back of the head. Soften the jaw, let it just hang. Three more breaths here. Slowly start to release, inhale yourself back up and center. Left hand on your right knee, take the right hand behind you. Gently start to twist over the right side. Roll the shoulders back and gently hug the shoulder blades in towards one another. Feel the shoulders softening away from the ears. You're just lightly on the right hand. If it feels okay for your neck, gaze past the right shoulder. Inhale, feel yourself a little bit taller. Exhale, softly surrender into the twist. Three more breaths here. Let the belly be free. I know the twist constricts the belly a little bit, but don't hold it in. Next inhale, unravel. Keep the right, the left hand on your right knee. Cross the body with your right hand right hand over to the left. And again, any movement that might feel good for you, let the neck be free, maybe rocking from side to side. And the more you walk the hands over the knees, the more you'll feel at the backs of the shoulders. So explore with the, with the grasp as well. Soften your jaw, maybe even close the eyes to just notice where you need an extra moment to breathe. Take one more breath.
and slowly start to settle into center. You can release the hands. Let's remove the props for now. Extend your legs out in front of you. You might want to give them a little shake, relax them for a moment. We'll come into shoelace with the legs or cow face, however you like to call it. Bend your right leg and bring the right foot over the left one. So try to bring your right heel over towards your left buttock. Now maybe this is enough for you with the legs. If you'd like to take it a little bit deeper, bend the left leg as well. And you can have a block underneath your bum in this variation as well. I'm just gonna turn um, sideways so that you see what we're gonna do with the arms. So make yourself somewhat comfortable here in the legs because we're going to sit here for a moment so you don't want to be struggling right off the bat maybe something underneath the bum or just extend the bottom leg i think i forgot to mention it but if you have something like a strap or even a towel it might come in handy but you don't need it there are other options for that as well so first we're going to just do eagle arms uh, right arm under and left arm over option number one is that you just give yourself a hug Option number two is that you bring the tops of the hands together. Option number three is that you bring the inner palms together. As you inhale, can you lift the fingertips a little bit higher? Pull the forearms away from you. Exhale, sink the shoulders down. So since this is yin yoga, try to not squeeze the arms together. Let them be quite relaxed. Each inhale, you feel the forearms pulling away from you. Each exhale, you feel the forearms, or sorry, the shoulders sinking down. Notice if the breath is rising high up into the chest. Can you breathe into the belly? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Unravel the arms. Inhale the right hand, or sorry, the left hand up. My right and left is totally mixed up today. <laughs> Excuse me. Left hand up, bend the left elbow, and gently pull that left elbow towards the side of the head. Now, maybe this is where you stay. If you want more, you can try to create a bind, bringing the right hand behind you. So here is where a strap or something alike might come in handy to bridge the gap, but I just usually grab my shirt if I can't quite make the clasp. Can you roll the right shoulder back a little bit more? Plug it back, plug the shoulder blade back into its place. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Relax your jaw. Can you rest the back of the head just lightly on the left forearm? And like I said, it's totally fine if you just stay in the first variation, grabbing the left elbow. Three more breaths. Slowly unravel the arms, maybe give them a little shake. Place the hands behind you, unravel the legs, give them a little shake. And then we'll switch, bring the left leg over the right one, left heel towards your right buttock. Maybe this is where you stay, maybe this isn't enough. Or you can bend the bottom leg, the right leg as well. Try to sit in between the feet rather than ending up seated on the right heel. For this one, I'm gonna have the right leg extended. Left arm under, right arm over. Option number one, you just give yourself a hug. Option number two, you bring the tops of the hands together. Option number three, you bring the inner palms together and try to turn, turn the thumbs to your nose. Inhale, can you gently lift the fingertips higher? Exhale, relax the shoulders down. 
Inhale, reach the fingertips a little bit higher, forearms away from you. Exhale, sink the shoulders down. Notice where the breath is right now. Can you breathe into the belly? Three more breaths. Slowly unravel. Inhale the right arm up, bend the elbow and grab the right elbow with your left hand. Just gently pull it a little bit more towards the side of the head. Maybe this is where you stay. Maybe this is enough. If you'd like a little bit more or a lot more, you can try to bring the left fingertips in touch with the right, right hand fingertips behind the back or just grab your ponytail, your towel, whatever you might have handy. Try to roll the left shoulder back. It tends to round forward. Roll it back, feel the left shoulder blade coming back into its place. Soften your forehead, your jaw. Can you rest the back of your head on the right forearm? Soften the legs as much as you can. Three more breaths. Slowly unravel the arms, maybe give them a little shake. Place the hands behind you, unravel the legs. You can wiggle them a little bit as well. So for the next shape, you'll want to first come lie down on the left side of your body. So I'm just gonna turn this way. And you probably won't need any props, maybe a folded blanket underneath the head. So I'm just gonna place that there and come lay down on the left side of your body. So this is called Angel with the Broken Wing. You'll want to place your right hand, kind of like we did before, towards the shoulder blades. So as I'm laying here on the left, side of my body i'll bring the right hand in between my shoulder blades and i'm just going to tell you the higher up in between the shoulder blades the hand is the more you will feel and if you need to lower the hand down at any point feel free to do so because this is quite an intense stretch on the shoulder so go ahead lay down on the left side of your body and see if you can lay down on your back with the right hand behind the back, in between the shoulder blades. If you now need to slide it more towards the middle back, that is totally fine. Otherwise, the body is completely relaxed. Don't force anything. Can you begin to slow down the breath? Take deeper breaths into the lungs. Notice if you need to ease off a little bit or take it a bit deeper to ease off, just slide the hand further down the back towards the mid back. And whatever you're feeling on the right shoulder right now, just take it one breath at a time. Soften the rest of the body first. And as you keep breathing, the sensations start to ease out little by little.
Notice if you've lost the breath. Can you deepen the breath again? Let's take three more breaths here. <sighs> to come out, you probably first want to bend the knees and then slowly come lay down on the left side of the body. <laughs> Very interesting. Release the right arm and then you can lay down on the back so there is no arm behind you. Just take a moment in Shavasana. Deep breath in. A full breath out. Just notice the right arm, the right shoulder. Notice the left arm, the left shoulder. There is a difference. And now start to ease onto the right side of the body. I'll have to adjust my microphone a little bit so that I don't mess it up. You'll bring the left hand in between the shoulder blades, fingertips point up, and slowly see if you can lay down on the back. I forgot to give you the option on the first side. If you just have the knees bent or do broken bridge with the legs, it will feel quite a lot easier. Shavasana legs is a bit more intense. Get comfortable here. Sensation is okay, pain is not. If you need to slide down the left hand more towards the mid back, that is totally fine. Begin to slow down the breath. Full breath in. Steady, slow breath out. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Stay close to the breath. Can you soften your forehead? Relax the jaw. Soften the rest of the body first. And then maybe you can start to observe how the sensations ease out on the left shoulder.
Take three more breaths here. Notice where you could soften a little bit more. Bend the knees, plant the feet onto the floor, slowly coming onto the right side of the body. You really want to take this slow. And then pull the left hand from underneath you. Roll back onto the spine, come into Shavasana. We'll just stay here for a brief moment. We'll have one more, one more pose, one more shape with two sides. Notice the left arm, the left shoulder, and maybe you notice some tingling, some heat. Notice the right shoulder, the right arm. They feel a little bit more equal now. Probably more stimulated. Go ahead and bend your knees. We're going to come into a reclined twist. You can pick any variation with the legs that feels good for you. If you want a softer twist, start from broken bridge and just let the legs fall over to the right so the legs are not together. If you want to make it a little bit deeper, have the legs together in a 90 degree angle. If you'd like to get quite deep into the side body, eagle legs, so the left leg will hook on top of the right one, maybe double hook. Shift the hips to the left a little bit in whichever variation you are and let the legs fall over to the right. Now, you probably want to have some props handy on the right hand side, maybe in between the legs if you're doing something else than eagle or underneath the legs if you have eagle legs. I'm going to give you the option to do either cactus arms or interlace the hands behind the head just so that we can still deepen the opening into the heart space, into the lungs. So either cactus arms or interlace the hands behind the skull. Close the eyes, soften the forehead, relax your jaw, to slow down the breath. Each inhale, can you guide the breath into the left side of your body? Feel it lengthening out. Each exhale, can you become a little bit heavier, just melting? Inhale, space into the left side body. Exhale, softening.
Let's take three more deep breaths here. To come out, first release the arms. Slowly roll the spine, the lower back onto the floor again. Readjust the hips to the center, and then you can unhook the legs if you'd like to reset by hugging the knees into the chest. Feel free to do so. No sudden movements, keep it gentle. And now we'll twist over to the left side. So whichever variation you take with the legs, your knees, your knees will point over to the left. If you're doing the eagle legs, hook the right leg over the left one and just shift your hips to the right a little bit so that the spine stays quite even. And you probably want to have some props handy on the left hand side, either in between the legs or under the legs. You want the right shoulder on the floor. So if you notice the right shoulder begins to lift off of the floor, that's a sign for you to put something underneath the legs. Cactus arms or interlace the hands behind the skull, kind of like you're just basking in the sunlight at the beach. Get settled in, soften the face, relax your jaw, deep breath in. Exhale, release the breath. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And just for these last few minutes of the practice, remind yourself of your intention. And if you still notice that you need to release something, use the breath. Allow the breath to clear the body. As you inhale, can you feel the right side of your body expand? As you exhale, the whole body is melting. Let's take three more deep breaths here. Notice where you could soften a little bit more. <sighs> Slowly begin to unwind. First release the arms, then start to roll the spine, the lower back onto the floor. Readjust the hips to the center, unravel the legs if they were wrapped. Take a moment to hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a loving hug. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release into your final relaxation. Make yourself comfortable.
eyes closed. Notice how you feel. And gift yourself a moment in gratitude. Thank yourself for making the time to practice. Thank yourself for showing up. We all know that's the hardest part. I'm going to leave you here in your final rest. Take your time. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.